like these these are the the side pads are supposed to be harder and they are and i'm getting i might annoyed that i can't optimize this like what the fuck is with this like i can't just make it jump up down or something that, that that's dumb ah, the commands the commands the commands okay let's see the absolute positivity Oh no, I know what this is gonna be. Aha! Positive altitudes uh, were determined to increase productivity and are now therefore mandatory. Smile. Ye management is watching. Uh, this is easy. This is fucking easy. When we get to a point where we need to decipher uh, symbols, like letters and all that, that that's gonna be a nightmare. Anyway, uh, send uh, each thing from the inbox to the outbox, but if a number is negative, first remove its negative sign. This is interesting. So, uh, taking from inbox, and let's just do the, the, the starter shit so we don't need to worry about that. So, we need to check if it is negative. First, we take from in the, uh, inbox, and if it is negative, then we will copy it to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. I'm annoyed. That's that's not that's not looking good. Because basically I need to do this. So inbox, it's not negative. Jump to the end, basically. But if it is negative, I need to copy it to there. Then I will add it, and I will need to add it again. Because it needs to go remove its negative sign. So if we add an 8 there, we will have, I mean, minus 8 there, we will have a minus 8 or, or in our memory. Then we add the minus 8, we get to 0. Then we add again. Uh, actually, no. Okay, I'm done. Well, let's see how this works. I need a visual representation, okay? That's fine with 16. That's no, 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 no. Uh, bad, 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 bad. Um, subtract? Because I'm a dumbass and I don't know math. Because you need to... Minus, minus gives a plus. This should work. Because dumbass and math. There we go. Subtracting gives positives. Please tell me that's I did. Please tell me I did uh, good first try. God damn it! I don't know why it's. It's like it's bugging out and taking extra steps, or it shouldn't be taking extra steps. So it took four extra steps. So the commands are good. The commands are all that I need. Or at least that's the, the amount I need. This is okay. So just jumps there and goes into outbox and goes there. But this is something I need to work on. Do I even need this? Uh, it's gonna bug out. I don't think I am gonna do good with this one. What is he gonna subtract with? Yeah, the empty value. You, you can subtract with an empty tile on the floor. Yeah, that's 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 stupid. I need to put something uh, there. So I need to copy it there and then use it to subtract twice. Um. Bam, bam, bam. Well, there is one thing I can maybe do. Maybe? This is kinda dumb. So, like, I copy it there, then I subtract, I go to zero. Then if it's zero, I do it again. And if it's not, it goes back. Let's see if this is gonna be... the four steps that I need to lose. It is zero. 
They should be it. <laughs> Damn it, I fucking increased the number of steps. <laughs> like, by a mile. Jesus. No, go going back. Like, fuck that. This, this, this was bad. I need to have less jumps. I guess. It's about the mass. Um... Bah. I need to send it to do this, and I need to send it to do this, but I have... Why is it doing four extra steps? I'm just gonna leave messages everywhere, which is gonna say, why? Why extra steps? I should leave notes for myself if I ever return to this game. What? What's the time? I've been playing this for two hours already, and I haven't progressed anywhere. Uh, what did it take? I keep forgetting what some commands do, which is important, uh, and it's not good that I keep forgetting. And again, I did the same. That, that's the cute thing about programming. I did the same thing. With the same number of commands, uh, I, well, well, I had the same result, with the same number of commands, but I ended up with more steps. So, you need to have less steps, of course, but, like, the only thing I did is uh, replace the sub with the jump if zero, and I already... Wait, what's gonna happen if I have zero? No, uh, it's probably just gonna carry it off. Anyway. Uh... That's the thing, uh, you can have multiple solutions to the same problem in programming and just have more or less steps. Like I use the same number of commands, maybe the proper solution with like less steps is some using this with completely different set of commands. And i blanking out to figure out which one they are. Because I can make a brute force solution for one issue, like for this line of uh, numbers, but you need to make a uh, um, universal solution for any number of inputs. That's, you know, the basic gist of it. Um, like, let it do this and finish this, and it's gonna say 40 instead of uh, 46, so... Less steps. Yeah, as it did, but same number of current solution is the 6 commands. So the thing is, the number is negative. Let's remove the negative sign. But we did that. We, we removed the negative sign, and we need to actually take the same number. So we can't take a different number. If only I could take. Hmm. I uh, let's try that. Well, it wouldn't. Yeah, it would tell me differently. Yeah, it's gonna stop me right now. Yeah, it's gonna stop me. Expect a nine. I didn't expect that. Music is banger. I think it's getting too hard for me to think. Um, I should play this in winter when it's cold and when I'm freezing. Jump commands are dumb, maybe. <laughs> These are basically if, while, and when uh, lines. It's a jump, but you know. If uh, negative, uh, like if, I don't know, A equals zero, jump over here. It's just giving you a visual. And, I mean, some of the code this day is written, so you can just type it like jump, or, or like if zero go there, stuff like that. Mm, still thinking how I can optimize this. Like if it is positive, I can copy it, I can subtract it. 
uh, twice and then I'll get the negative version of the number, which is not what I need. And if I copy it there, it's just gonna give me more steps. <sighs> I'm literally gonna call up a friend next time I play and be like, Can you tell me how to optimize this bullshit? Like, teach me. Sabbatical Beach Paradise. Oh, nice. Year 18 of our work. Hi, ladies. Bye, ladies. I was expecting, do I need to click on something? Come down. Oof. Fibonacci sequence. Zero terminate sum. Uh, strings. Uh, that, when strings come around, that's gonna be brain damage. Brain damage. Yes, welcome back. Tick, tick, tick. Time keeps ticking down. Let's get to work. Oh, yes. Uh, I love what you've done with your hair. Did I do something? Ooh, here we go, here we go. Bump plus bump negative. Okay. For each number in the inbox, send out that number to the outbox, followed by all numbers uh, down to or up to zero. It's a countdown. Down to or up to zero? What's with the R? What's with the robot card? You got new commands. They add one or subtract one from an item on the floor. Uh, the result is given back to you and for your convenience, also written right back on the floor. Bump. Uh, this increment, decrement. Jesus, why are they doing this? Okay, let's fetch an item. The inbox, send that number to the outbox, followed by all numbers. Down to or up to zero. It's down, down. I'm confused with the, this line. Followed by all numbers down to or up to zero. I don't know which uh, line it requires me to do. Let me set. Let's see what happens. Oh, great. Or up to zero. So. I need to copy it to there. So the thing is, first I need to check if it's here. Uh, that's the important part. If it's zero, then it will copy it to, let's say, zero. If it's not, then we will jump to the next sequence. Uh, the next sequence, uh, I don't know why I need to use bump commands for this. Which for each number, followed by all, because this is a, you know, increase in the number. It's incremental decrement. Uh, followed by all numbers, so for each number in the inbox, okay, send out that number to the outbox. Followed by all numbers down to or up to zero. It's a countdown. I don't know what is actually expecting me to do. Um, so copy to that one. Yeah. Let's just do this. So it... ah. Up to zero. It's, I'm doing this backwards, basically. Anyway, uh, we take a number. Is it negative? Yes, it is. Somewhere. If it's positive, 
Okay, it's not a zero. Okay. It gets written in there. I really don't know why I need bump increment it. Which number in the inbox? Send that number to the outbox. Followed by all Okay, yeah, I have no idea what it actually is. Give me an example. If your inbox is okay, uh, your outbox should be... Okay, okay, now, now, now I figured out what the plot is, okay. So, okay, that, that, this is completely different code from what I'm going. I need to clear this. So, if my inbox is 3 minus 3 to 0, I need to increment it and send each version to the outbox. So, I need to send a 3, a 2, a 1, a 0, and then go check another number, and then 3, 2, 1, 0, and then 0. So, let's just clear this. Let's start with the basics. Um, set this up. So, the basic thing is, if it is a zero, it goes straight to the outbox. But, the first number is nine. I need to... got one of the commands, they add one or subtract one from an item on the floor. So, I need to copy that there then hmm. basically we're gonna need to have two jumps back I think maybe uh, so for each number that, that's uh, that's the example I need to example this is this is tough this is a bit tougher than I expected so and I think I did this but I don't remember so we're gonna take an item uh, from the inbox, uh, we're gonna copy it to say 0. Then we're gonna... We should actually take that number into the outbox. Then if it is not 0... Oof. So yeah, basically we take a 9, put it there, then take it to outbox. Then, uh, we need to copy from, we need to copy too, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, then we copy from 0 again. No, not that, not 2, Jesus. Uh, and then, if it's not 0, we subtract that number and take it to outbox let me see how this works we take it there okay we did we did that, we did that. um this is again doing barbaric uh, coding and uh, tweaking it later. So, inbox, crypto, co co copy to there, we are set with that number. Uh, and when it bumps it down, it bumps it down below and in our hand, which is okay. Uh, decrements. Uh, so, the first version of the number we take out the outbox and we then copy from that again. If it is a zero, we take it to outbox. We don't bump, we just take it to outbox. So we don't need the uh, additional outbox, I think. Um, if it is not a zero, uh, then we took it to outbox. Yeah, I need to spin it back up. Basically. Um, This is kind of a thing I think I need to do. So, uh, we go into inbox, we copy to that number, then we take it out. Then we copy again, and if it's not a zero, we lower it, and then we take it to outbox. 
and then we repeat that until it is a zero. Let's see if this works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then if it is a zero, we don't actually take it out the outbox. We take. Uh, Let's see if this works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that, that's good. 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 Because it's not a zero. We decrement it. Like we get a one here. It's not a zero. We decrement it. We send it out the outbox, and then if it gets again, we copy it from there. Uh, we copy a zero basically because the zero is left we go back up there we pick up a next number now we need to do a check before we copy to zero and that is if the number is negative if the number is negative um, then we skip all of this so we skip this whole whole line of well technically we can do it like here we copy it to there we copy nine uh, if it is we still have it in in our memory uh, so if it is a negative then we skip uh, we skip we don't need to skip a lot actually we need to skip to a point where we instead of If it is a negative number, um, hmm. <sighs> I need to draw this. Okay, okay, never mind. This is it's still insane enough. Uh, so, if it is a positive number, we take it out. We show it there. Still, we need to again. If it is a negative number, we still need to take it out the out box. Uh, so the first negative then uh, we need to copy from zero again and increment it by one and again if it is a zero uh, we need to go back to the beginning to get a new number but if it is not a zero, uh, we, well, I don't need this technically. Uh, if it is not a zero, I basically jump it back up there to continue decre uh, decrementing it. Let's see if this works. Uh, not decrementing, incrementing it actually to zero. basically running two line two different codes uh, this is not optimized at all I don't believe I don't believe 10 of your commands yeah oof 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 Oof, that's 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 I, I you can do this better you can do this so much better this is so not optimized uh, I even know that I can do this better it's just like uh... okay so I don't think I need two of these so I don't think I need two copies like this uh, so I can maybe So we need just one set of that, I think. Let's let's copy this so we don't fuck this up. Or at least I have a follow-up. So basically what I need, uh, these are the only things different. Well, basically this is that thing. So uh, what I need to do is remove all of this. 
So if it is negative, so I think I can do it like this. It's gonna take a negative number, copy it to zero, then chuck it out the outbox. Then it's gonna copy from zero. If it is a positive number, it goes here, decrementing. If it is a negative number, uh, it jumps uh, to here and it jumps to increment it. Then, after incrementing it, it's gonna jump all the way back. So it, it's incrementing it to jump. I think I optimized it now. Okay, yeah, I think I opened it. Uh, that's sometimes how I think. I make the brute force solution, which sometimes and most of the times you do, and then you figure out what you don't need, cut that, and link it uh, a bit differently. So I don't know if I optimized it fully. Yeah, I'm still missing uh, one extra command and more steps. Wow, okay. And that that's programming for you. I ended up having more steps instead of less, but I didn't optimize it well enough. Hmm. I still have one extra command. In way too many steps. I think I may be copying uh, too much. Let me see, where do these lines go? Yeah, if it hits zero, it will uh, take a new number. But until then, I still need to copy it. Well, I don't really need it. Hmm. The thing is he delivers it and then he doesn't have anything, so I need to copy the new number Then check if it is negative It goes to be incremented. If it is positive It just continues on and then jumps back up <sighs> Maybe I can do something with subtracting Hmm well, technically, bumping up and down is subtracting. Let me see visually if I can figure out what I'm doing wrong. So, I'm taking that, it's going there. I'm picking it up. Well, maybe I don't need this actually. Let's see how it works without it. Because I will just can't jump if negative with empty hands. Okay. Okay, so Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. So this is this step goes there. Anything differently, yes. Um, because he's gonna go there, he's gonna deliver that, uh, he's gonna go there. Then he's gonna decrease that one, take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't need to copy from because I'm already gonna go to loca memory location zero and get it. Um, the issue is where do I check if it is a negative to jump? it down hmm. because I need to deliver the first number so let's say 
I go to inbox, copy it there, just have, have, uh, have it in memory. Negative number, I take it out there. Then, I bump it by one. Or like decrease it by one, which is not good. Um, so, minus nine goes there. I increase it to minus so I will decrease it by min to minus 10 which will mean that it goes there which increases it by 10 and then it's gonna jump back up there and it's gonna be the same number which is not good I can't just do this um, what's my best I had two commands extra what if I had one command extra? Yeah. The thing is, I need to tell it to pick up an, uh, a number the same. And, uh, like, I can do it with this. Like, it's gonna do. I think it's gonna work well. Yeah, but it didn't have zero. It didn't. It didn't deliver a zero as well. Uh, because again, I decreased it, and I can't check. But the, the moment he comes there with an empty hand, it's gonna be empty value. It doesn't have anything. It's gonna bug out. It delivers it. I should have saved the third version of the program because it, this is the... <sighs> Can't add more commands, I need to lower the amount of commands. Is this the version that works? No, 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 it's not. It's not because I don't have the copy to copy, the, uh, copy from. How did I lower this? How did I... I forgot how my better version of the program worked! I'm a dumbass. just gonna let my brain uh, melt out of my skull and see how this goes. I need to undo everything. Okay, so this is how it worked, right? It had way more steps. 
but it was basically that. So, let's try this again. I can't believe how long I'm sticking to one level. I'm definitely watching other people to see if I'm brainier or less brainier. I know Jacksepticeye tried this. Uh, okay, so... And for your convenience, also written right back on the floor. But that, that is the important part. I just didn't understand the, the task it gave me. Like, that's why like, you have to do this, so it just lowers it to zero and all that. Any puzzles. Um, we need to copy it to the floor. Yes. We then send the first number that we have out of the box. Then we start working on the numbers. Um, technically, we need to copy it out. But uh, if it is a positive number, I'm just going to copy this because this works and I'm starting to mess with code again. So if we, cop if we don't copy this out, we. Outbox that, uh, then we decrease the number. Um, so this is gonna be for positives. So we go there, we bump it. Uh, so let's say if it's two, we bump it, it's gonna be a one. Uh, then it's not a zero. We jump back up, we deliver it, we bump it down to one. Uh, to technically that this is gonna be an issue uh, because we are decreasing before we're checking so um, technically this still stay uh, so let's say two gets delivered we check it's not a zero we um, decrease it to one we write it in it's still not zero, we pump it down to zero, we write it down, it's a zero. That's good, we put it, we go back to the top, and we're good. But, uh, then we take another number, which is a negative number, we copy it to this location, uh, we outsource it, and then we can check if it is a negative number. Uh, if it is a negative number, uh, we go here, it isn't a zero, we bump it up, okay, maybe this is gonna work? Let me check. No, it's not gonna work. Uh, we'll, yeah, we can't check an empty value. That That's the biggest issue why we were doing this. I have a stupid solution, they did this, but this is stupid, this, this is like moronic, this it's adding more code and adding more shit, like this is idiotic. Like this is idiotic. It will work! Like this will work, but this is idiotic. Like this is worse than uh, adding, than just collecting uh, the item. Like, look at this. This is gonna be 200 checks. This is not, not, like, it worked. But this is moronic. So, in this case, it's easier just to copy from. And then go into split line. But this is basically my previous code. It's not, you know, it's not any different. Thing is, I don't have the ability to check. So, we need to remove this. Um, I need to move outbox somewhere else. Um, or add another one. Which again is one extra line of code which I don't need. Because I need to write in, well, write out, write out the main number, and then I need to write out other numbers uh, after I've checked them. It's 
Okay, if we put it here, it's still gonna check. If it is a neg it's not gonna write out the, the problem is the negative uh, line. The, like if it's zero, it's gonna jump. It's still not gonna write either a zero or um, the first negative number, which is an issue. If I put both, it doesn't do anything because I don't have an empty thing, and it's gonna break at this place. So the copy form is is important. I just don't need something. Oh, God damn it. Like I'm annoyed that I can't optimize anymore. Like I've done optimization everywhere and then I can't optimize here. This is like fourth levels, Jesus. I'm not good at programmer, I, I think. Let's see this. It seems like only yesterday we were learning about adding on memories. Yeah, 20 years later. We worked so hard back then. Okay, so what the fuck is this? Uh, for each two things in the inbox, multiply them. And outbox the result. Don't... Uh, worry about negative numbers for now. We got labels. Uh, you can help. They can help you remember the purpose of each tile on the floor. Just tap on any tile on the floor to add it. Okay. I don't. Copy from zero to hello. What's gonna happen if you do that? Nothing. Okay. Fuck all of this. For each two things in the inbox, multiply them. Okay. Inbox. things in the uh, inbox, multiply them and outbox the result. Check if there's the one I think it means. The inbox is 2500, the outbox should be 10 and 0. How do you get 10 and 0? What the fuck? Reach two things in the inbox, okay, multiply, and now post the results. But that's not the result. What in the fuck? Fuck balls? Stick a label on it and never need to use numbers again. My sandwich, now you know which one of you to give up. Okay. So, if your inbox is 3308, your outbox should be. Aha! Okay, so 3 times 3 is 9, 0 times 8 is 0. Fine. I need to learn how to multiply without fucking knowing or having the code for multiplying. Just have add and subtract. Okay. So basically what he is saying is, yeah, 20. So I need to take the first number. Ah, no, no, I didn't want to do that. Multiply it by the second. So we take a 5. Copy it to 0. 
Oh boy. Oh fuck, nuggets. I think I know what the code is, but the code is stupidly long, which I mean, which I'm gonna write, but... Mm. So if there is a 5 there... That's an S. Five. Uh, I need to put a four here. Okay, that's not good. Uh, so if I cop, so if I take from inbox and copy it to four, well, I'm just doing it for the first two numbers. Those are two numbers. Or maybe I don't even need to do that. I just need... The thing is... I need to make this number increase itself... Like by five... Four times. So, that, that's kind of the logic I'm going with. So... Um, So five is I'm just gonna outlook something. Um, so I take a number, I uh, copy it to location one. I take another number, copy it to location two. Then I need to take back the number from location one, add it to location one. And then decrement uh, it's, uh, this number. Then, if it is a zero, I go out box. But if it is not a zero, I repeat the process. This is basically from if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly. Um, we did this, we fucking did this. I know how multiplication and um, adding and dividing works in programming where you don't have an actual code for adding and dividing. You just need to make a code for it. Just basically the code that the code for that uses. The command uses. Yeah, not the code, you, the command. When you don't have a command for subtracting, not subtracting, uh, multiplication and dividing. So, like, we take a num- and then, after we finish the outbox, we go back to do that for the next two uh, items. So, we take 5, and we take a 4. And then, we take another 5, add a 5 to it, decrement from the 4. Then check if that's 0. Because this is gonna get that number into our hands. Let's check if this works. We're gonna take a 5. We're gonna take a 4. Then we're gonna add a 5. We're gonna add them. We're gonna decrement the 4 and take it into our hands. It's not a 3. We're gonna jump back up. We're gonna repeat taking a 5. Adding another 5. Okay, the issue is... I, I've noticed the issue. Um, we need to take this number and put it into a result we need to know what the result is um, we can't double it there so and then if it is a zero we take the number two and we outsource uh, we outbox it i have no idea if this is optimized at all like at fucking all let's see if this works So we have a six. No, we we are just doing nothing. No, no, no. I, 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 I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. Um. 
okay no 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 we are good with these two we set up two numbers uh we are good with some of these not 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 all of it so we need to take Maybe we reverse this. Maybe we don't do this uh, like this. We need to reverse this. So we set up a 5. It, uh, multiplying, it's not that different. I, I don't need to worry about which number is the multiplication number. It's, uh, it's the same. So uh, we go, we take a number, we set it there. We take another number. We set it there. Then we can come back to this number. So we're gonna have a five. We decrease that five. Then we Copy from this and then add another that. And we copy it to there. God damn it! I knew this. I actually fucking knew that this is a mul simple mul uh, C plus uh, multiplication thing. Yeah, I'm just. I'm not doing anything. I, I'm not adding. I'm not adding the the number to the. You can't add an empty file for the try writing something to that file down first. Okay, I actually have a tile oh, I can do this with. Which is this one. But it's not gonna work after this. it before I copy from it and the zero will help only at the beginning I don't think it's gonna help later um, the thing is I have continual string of numbers and I can't reset it well, maybe I can reset it. Before I jump uh, here out box, I can maybe... Um, blah, 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 blah. No, basically not before that. Like, I need to set it before and everything, definitely. Like, this is gonna be a reset. Um, so that resets it. That resets the memory slot, which is a zero. Um, then we go pick up a number. Then we copy it to the first issue. Then we pick up another number. Then we copy it to the second issue. Which this is awful. Uh, then we lower the first number. And if it is a zero, we 
we just It's not, not gonna work because if it we lower it to zero, we then need to copy from the second one and then outbox it. So that's one line of thinking. If it is not a zero, let's say it's not this one, it's a two. It we copy same kind of work. We take that, we take that, we take the three. We lower it to zero. It is a zero. We just take that. value yeah, yeah, yeah but that, that's only times one I, I made the stupid code for stupid things uh, so we have a no I don't care uh, I'm gonna stop at this I need some help. I need some actual fucking help. Um, so we have a zero, we do that, we inbox it, we copy it, we inbox again, we copy that, we lower it. Then because if it's a one, it's a zero, then it goes straight there, we can copy it, we can outbox it. Um, then, because the thing is, we. We don't copy it there. We need to copy uh, this second number to there and we need to copy it to technically there. And then if it is a zero, we just take it from zero and we go. And that's it. And this is gonna set up for here and gonna set up for there. So we decrease it by one. Let's say this far we we set up a we set up that this is a zero. Then it's, then we So we take the zero, we copy to there, then we take in box, we set this as a six, we set this as a five. That's that's set. Then we copy the five to zero, just in case. Then we lower the five, the six to a five. That's it. Uh, then we take, then we copy from a four and add it to this one. We add it to zero. Then we jump back up to lowering the five. Again, this is our uh, this is our counter, the uh, basically incremental counter, which will uh, for when it hits zero, we stop doing uh, the actions. That's basically. So if it hits zero, we copy, not copy two, we copy from zero, and we take it out. So let's see if this works. So we're gonna set this up. We need to set up a zero each time so we know what we're doing next time. Otherwise, it's just gonna add shit to it. So we have a two, and we have a two there. We do that. We take a two. Let's try it. Okay, no, 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 it's uh, uh.
I can't tell it how many times to increment each time. That's the issue. Uh, multiply and all that. Uh, the issue is it's picking up this one and <sighs> the thing is it's picking up this one Copy it, add it, and then I need to drop it. Ugh, why am I so stupid? Why can't I do multiplications in fucking C coding? Uh, the thing is, he's taking... Like, let's see, we copy this information, and then we add that information we will have six we will have let's say five we will have ten there if i jump back he's gonna just increase that take that information and the ten is lost and i need to save the ten here so i would say that it copies that to there but again when he comes back here he's gonna take he's not gonna take the uh, the new information from zero he's gonna take this information again and uh, copy from that and add it and then put it into there it won't do anything like it literally won't do anything okay, i want to try something i want to see something Oh, fuck you. This is a sampler. This isn't even C. C has multiplication, actually. I think. Let's assemble it. Let's see how this works in assembler. No, I don't want to actually multiply. I need to use add. I know there are multiply lines I need to use something else okay now I'm actually looking at assembly and I forgot how assembly works okay Not hexadecimal. Yeah, I need to go back to programming. This is... Uh, I'm dumb. I'm just dumb. Yes, I know how to use the multi multiply option. I need to use it. I need to... I need to check some of my old things. Or I need to look at this as a puzzle, not as a programming language, because it's not that working. Uh, let's try again. Each two things in the inbox multiply, then outbox the results. Don't worry about negative numbers for now. You got labels, they can help you remember the purpose of each tile. 15 commands! Okay, that is 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I was close. But not really. Let's just start with the inbox outbox and uh, jump line. That's it. Uh, for each two things in the inbox, multiply them and then outbox the results. So, I need to think this a little bit differently. Uh, I'm gonna copy this to this location. Then. 
I need to copy from inbox. I need to take from inbox again. The text number. I need to copy it to another location. Then this first number is gonna tell me how many times I need to add uh, the second number. In this case, twice. So, with that in mind, I need to. Let's see what this says. Add the contents of a specific tile on the floor to whatever you are currently holding. The result goes back into your hands. Okay. So what means is I am taking this number that's on the floor, adding it, and something goes into my hands. That thing then goes to a new location. That thing uh, then I need to decrement this one that means that I've completed this rotation once then what I need to do is because I'm not holding anything in my hands eight, nine. okay that's I'm still in code limitations optimized code limitations mind you um so let's see that again i'm copying this uh, the visual style of this is actually fucking up with my brain i think uh first number is there we copied we have the second number we took that second number added it to whatever i was holding which is five in this case and then we took the five and added it and bumped it to two which this is gonna have a 10 written in it uh then we go bump this down by one and we technically take that number because that's what bump does it says subtract by one from the contents of a specific time floor. the result is written back on the floor and also back in your hands for our convenience but we don't need to do that we need to take from this number and then add it to this number so that's what's gonna happen this is dumb this is stupid I'm doing this by step by step which I shouldn't um This needs to be if zero. Then we need to copy from this place and go to our box. But if it isn't zero, skips the copy from one and then add it to that which is fine uh, but we need to make it okay yeah it will jump so we jump back to decreasing that one going to copy from that and adding to this one not yeah that that's actually is it I think management expected a six okay where did it fuck up we have two twos that that's okay we got a four No, 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 
okay, okay. We, we did that good we did that good so we took a number we took a one we took a six we added them okay yeah that that's an issue if it is a one i get it we have a 12 and then we decrease so that's the issue um Okay, maybe these two are two or inconsistent uses. So we take this, take a number, take that number, then we instantly. I'm gonna copy this. Yeah, I, I, I will forget what I did. This is even worse. So we instantly. We don't add the one right now, we instantly decrease it by one. Then we add this one to... It's still just gonna add, if there is a one, it's still gonna just add one, which is not good. I'm still gonna combine those two, which is not good, but if we remove this... this then I will need to have a setup at the beginning I'm just gonna reset everything because I need to have something in the memory banks no 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 If it is a z no, it's gonna copy that. Um, let's see if this will fix it. I don't think so, but let's see. I just wanna finish this level. What the fuck happened there? have an issue <sighs> if a zero comes in it lowers it minus one 
Let's see if negative leads to but then it's gonna be infinite loop. So if a zero comes in, which is I didn't count in, uh, great. Uh, it's gonna. Let's see. I don't think this is gonna work. Why, why, why does it... Why does it go in infinite loop? It doesn't check if it's zero? I mean, it jumps there! It should check if it's zero and then jump out. What the fuck? Is this bugged out? Oh, I don't know. I'm playing a buggy game. Older version or something. But this jumps there. comes with a big number before it decreases <sighs> in my hands is a big number then that uh, doesn't do anything First number is zero. I'll decrease it. And it will take that number, which is an issue. So if it's a negative number, I just need to take the Zero. This might be bar barbaric. This might be very barbaric. This is awful. Like, this is awful. Awful coding. Awful coding. Like, this is... I finished the level, but at what cost? Like, this is not how multiplication works. Guys, this is not. I'm gonna end it here. I played half of this and my brain is hurting. I need to go study programming again. Like I was a kid.
I'm gonna go talk to some of my friends and they're gonna tell me how not to do this or what books to read because this is off. This is basics. And I forgot the basics. So, this is not how a code for this shit works. It is completely fucking different and I need to remember how this works. Anyway, my shame to the side and my lack of optimization to the side. I still don't know how what I think this, this might be a busted game. I don't know. Or a busted, busted version. But the, how can you optimize less? It's three lines of code. How can you have less steps? What am I doing wrong? Please tell me. Ah! I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. This was a one-off, maybe, probably, quite possibly, because I suck at this. I'm never gonna be a programmer. I better just go to QA and I don't know logistics or IT. Anyway, thank you. Uh, this is another by pen and paper streams. Do the like, subscribe, comment, dance. There is Patreon for support. Uh, if you wanna watch my madness live. Check me out on Twitch if you want to watch uh, the episodes of this and other stupidity that I uh, run. Uh, check me out on at YouTube, not at YouTube, at by pen and paper on YouTube. And till next time, as always, it's the stories that we play and programs that I fail to optimize. See ya.